All right, what's up, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today I'm here in the southwest Las Vegas Valley on the uh, south side. And uh, we are in the mass plan community called Southern Highlands. Dang, that sounds rich, don't it? Southern Highlands. But the name of this community is called Royal Highlands. And Royal Highlands is really built by American West. All the homes that you see in this neighborhood is all American West homes. Now this property right here, the asking price for this resale that was built in 2015 is $744,580,000. This property features 5,451 square feet. It is a two-story, five bedrooms den and total five toilets. Does have a three car garage and also an RV parking here off to the side. Definitely do love the uh, the stone up in the front here. You do have the uh, Spanish type of uh, tile here. You do have solar screens, which is really nice. This is a armed guard gated community. Here's your access to your RV here. Pretty decent size in the room, huh? For the RV. You see the eaves and the soffit. Okay. It's about a one foot. Kicks out. The roads are really nice and wide. Now on this street here, what you'll notice, you can only park on one side. So the side that has a sidewalk, that's where you can park. Now, this, the security guards here, they drive around like a golf cart. These guys will give you a ticket. These guys are hardcore. Let's take a look through these uh, French doors here, the original French doors. We have the uh, wood-like tile. Off to the left, we have a nice little den. I don't even wanna say it's little. You do have a tray ceiling here, which is a six inch on the tray ceiling. It is a little bit dark. And the reason why it is, there's no can lighting. It's just a pre-wire J-box right there for your ceiling fan. But if you are interested in this property and would like some more information you can also give us a call or you can click on the link in the description below this room does have blinds okay let's come down this way here this would be your formal dining room right here this formal dining room looks to be about 15 by 15 so it's a pretty large dining room you got your double tray ceiling you got a six inch and also another two inch Total of eight inch on the tray ceiling. You have four can lighting here. So it's a pretty decent size. You got a two-tone paint, orange peel texture, bull nose with a three inch on the base boards. This is just an aftermarket waterfall here. Typically you put a picture here and there's your light for your picture. So as we come in, let's take a look at this. What you notice the kitchen for American West is pretty much all the same. They've been building the same type of home now for the past 15 years I've seen. All the same style, but they do is just change the front elevation. Definitely do love this fireplace. That looks like a six foot fireplace there. 70 inch, right? You do have your coffered ceilings, six inch on the coffer. Let's take a look at the uh, kitchen here. HOAs here are $104 a month. The master for Southern Highlands is $65 a month. Whirlpool appliance, your exhaust should be right there. Got your built-in refrigerator. Let's take a look at here. Somebody keeps calling me. So here, I would definitely do some cabinets. I believe you had an option to do cabinets at the time. But look at all the uh, cabinetry. Let's take a look at it here. Oh, okay, so the cabinets, MDF, staples, side glides, just all stock and standard. You do have the 42 upper cabinets here. Okay. The original. Whirlpool, this is the built-in here, which is really nice. And we have our 
pantry. Uh, these doors are not insulated, it's very thin. They always built this little nook for the uh, microwave. Never really liked that, I don't know why. Got the three pendant lighting. You do have surround sounds too as well. Ceiling fan. Let's go out to the backyard here, see what we got in the backyard. Okay, having trouble with doors again, Chuck. What's going on? At the backyard, cover patio. That's kind of cool. If you notice that uh, the walls here have been stucco, which is really nice. These air conditioning units, the Lennox looks fairly new. Again, you got the solar screen, you got the uh, direct TV or dish. Okay. Looks like the backyard is very low maintenance here. So let's come over here. See how it feels and looks from here. So from here, looks pretty. Definitely this lot is large enough to put a pool. Now the lot size on here is 9,148 square feet. You do have the pavers, you got the gravel, synthetic grass. Over here, I'm not too sure what they were doing here. Maybe a, a sitting place for, or possibly for a jacuzzi. I don't know, what would you do here? Let me know in the comments below. Now you, you can buy one of these cover patios, these aluminums, for about 3500 not including the concrete. But you'll probably be into it for a total of about seven or eight grand, depending on which company. And don't just always go with the cheapest company because number one, uh, find out what type of uh, rebar they use or if even they use rebar. Some may not use rebar. And also when it comes to the concrete for the um, concrete for the patio, make sure they use the best brand for the concrete pattern because these things could chip and brittle very easy, okay? And talking about that, when you lay the concrete, make sure it's underneath the, the stucco creed. You do have a nice deep hallway, I do like that. There's a lot of architectural design, old school. Now what I do like about this home, there's two master bedrooms, so you have one downstairs the larger one's gonna be upstairs. So let's go to this here. Wow, look look how large this is. This one is probably good, decent, decent. 18 by 18, it is very large. The only thing I don't like about it is there's only one light here, okay? Now the crazy thing about it is I had a client who came out here, we looked at this home, and I was like, ah, oh, you know what? This is actually a pretty decent home, so. For the age. Now this shower is a walk-in, right? Comes right over here. Now this is the backsplash on here is Corian. Okay. Now take a look at these lights here. I figured the lights would be right here. The light switch is right here. Look at this. So if you wanted to take a shower, you have to come back over here and turn on the lights. Wouldn't you rather put a light switch here? It would make more sense. Here's your closet. You got brand new carpet, two-tone paint. You got that bright white with the almond color. A six panel door here. This looks like the original toilet. The toilet. Okay. Got the Corian. Coming across this hall here, you got the washer and dryer, I believe it's not included. You got the sink, granite, this is the granite that does come with it during the time of the build. You got the 42 upper cabinets on here, which makes it look a lot nicer. And uh, you got a nine foot ceiling on here, okay? We have some storage underneath the staircase. Doesn't go all the way through, here's your 
three car garage. You have a lift master, which is a half a horsepower. Garage needs to be epoxied. It looks like we have a fairly new um, water filtration system, soft water. And this looks pretty new for the um, hot water heater here. The only thing I would add was a drain pan just in case of this leaks because normally you get a lot of problems right here. And it looks like you have an overflow valve, okay? Or circulating circulation valve, which is nice. Decent. Now, you do have a hairline fracture going there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that's common. That just shows you where your joints are. That could be an easy fix. You're going to get that from time to time, especially here in uh, Las Vegas. All right. Let's go back into the property here. Off to the left, we have closet. Okay. Then we have our half bath. The pedestal sink. Nothing special in here, just standard. Now let's go upstairs. Let me show you how large these rooms are. Look at this staircase. Now one thing I couldn't find out, where was the light switch for the staircase? Because as you go upstairs, oh here it is. I was trying to find that light switch. I couldn't find it, but now I did. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna take a look at this. Uh, you know what, we're gonna go. I was gonna take you to the media room here, but master is over here. Another room is here. Cut a couple rooms here. During the time of the build, you could've had this open with railing. But I mean, take a look at the, a lot of architectural design. Crazy. This is where you would put your pictures here. Let's go down this way. Another picture here. We'll start off here to the left. Here's a bathroom. 12 by 24 on the porcelain tile. You got a 30 inch vanity here. So this is gonna be more for kids. Undermounted sink, cast iron sink. You do have brushed nickel faucets. Here's your, again, your core in and your fiberglass tub. Here's gonna be your valet. Now this bathroom serves two purposes. For this pretty large bedroom right here, but also this door will close to surface to serve this bedroom too, right here. I know it's a little bit dark. Now this room is pretty large. Now this room alone is just as large as my master bedroom. However, there's no 4 can lighting here. Your sun exposure is going to be on this side of the home. But you can already see how dark it is because of the solar screens and they work really well. You got the three rocker switch. So that means you can wire for a ceiling fan that has a light. Now this is the larger room here. You do have your one in one here, your probably your Cat 5 during the time of the build or maybe even a Cat 4. But again, I'll have the, the, the dimensions of this property in the description below. You have your somewhat walk-in closet here. This is probably a four by three. Okay. Here's that bathroom that we talked about. Three rocker switch, which is great. Half hot, right? That goes right there, that, that's your lamp light. One is for your light for your ceiling fan and also for your ceiling fan. So we have storage. Pretty decent size, okay. Now let's go into this media room. Now, this looks like the original rug on the media room. And as you can see, all these veins on here, this carpet definitely needs to be stretched. We have about uh, eight, nine foot ceilings here. You do have the uh, coffered ceilings, which drops about a good six inches here. However, 
take a look how large this room is. I mean, this is a large room. Foosball, ping pong table, pool table, and a movie room. You do have connections for your um, projector that goes here, right? You have six can lighting, surround sounds. Everything's all connected from there, which is nice. Carpet definitely needs to be pulled, for sure. Now let's come down here. We're gonna go into this room right here. Now here's another room that's pretty large. And this room is very unique because a couple things. Number one, look at this space right here, okay? You can put your TV right here. Then you have additional space right here. This could be like your retreat. Coming into the closet, okay, which is nice. Cool. And flip this thing around. Do you prefer to have your rocker switch in or outside of your closet? Now they made this room and they added the smart panel box here. So it looks like your smart panel box, couple things. This is for your telecom, which is we no longer need that anymore. Love the fact that, oh, look how genius idea this is. Looks like they were smart enough to already run the Smurf tube. I would check out if this actually is ran to the uh, DMARC, which is the main box on the outside of the home. That way, if fiber optics ever come out here, you can run it through here, okay? Looks like you have your, uh, your cable here, okay? And your Cat 6, it looks like. Nice. Now this one is also a junior suite, so you have your own bathroom. So there's a lot of privacy here, which is I do like this. Again, you got the aquarium, okay? You, it recesses about two inches. Take a look at that. 36 on the uh, countertop here. So this is gonna be more for the uh, your adults, for this bedroom. And I would be fine just for this bedroom right here. This is cool. Now coming into the master, and look how wide this master is. But it looks like we have a closet here. Okay, yeah. Just like some storage space. It's a little bit dark, I apologize. So you have the French doors, six panel door now. This is a pretty decent master closet. Now look how large this room is, and you only have one light here. So it looks like they, they, they did not really spend the money on the pre-wire for the lights, which if you decide to do it now, <coughs> it will cost a lot of money, which is why you should do it during the time <coughs> of the build, I'm sorry. Coming into the master bath, you have that nice high vanity. Um, you got the countertops and undermounted sinks. You have a nice large mirror, okay. Coming into the closet. Now I do love these daylights versus the soft lights. I mean, you can just tell the color with the light bulbs. Also, let me know in the comments below, would you prefer daylight or soft, uh, the soft lights? Because I mean, now when you go in the soft lights, it just feels like so gloomy. Dang, look at that tub. Now we got that man-made Corian again. You'll see American West, they use this product a lot. And I think the reason why they do this is because um, it's a little bit cheaper for the, the builders that they actually buy in bulk. And I'm gonna tell you, like builders, they are so smart. What they do is, when you go to the design studio, right, you get the standard countertops and you're like, yo, I'm getting granite. But yeah, the granite that you get looks so shitty, right? It's so ugly, you're like, you're almost forced to upgrade. That's how smart sales are. 
But then what they'll do is, hey, you can get this, right? You can pick three of these. One of these options you can pick for this price. And it gets a little bit better. Then you can bring it up another level and it will get a little bit better, but it costs you more money. I mean, that that's, that's how smart these builders are, man. I'm telling you. No joke. But this is a nice community. I do like this community. Let's take a look at this home again. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuggis Cruswant with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.